Hi, Sophie King Drunk back again with yet another attempt of a beer review. The one I've got to review just now is one from Guinness Project and it's their 1944 and Twerpin Stout 8% Erector Scale. This is one, there's a few beer reviewers that have uh, reviewed uh, and I decided to hold mine back a little while just to see what their take on it was. This was brewed. World War II, obviously the Belgian breweries must have been rationing and stuff like that, uh, suffered during the war. So the Irish and uh, the Irish St James's Gate came to the rescue and brewed some stout for them for the back for the lads at the front. What well, the only brewery had done that as well, apparently McEwen's in Scotland. Yes, McEwen's uh, export. I don't know if it would have been called export in those days, but uh, they had a beer that the Belgians after the war were really, really fascinated in the East strain that kept the beer alive. It kept the beer so alive for the guys at the front. They were really impressed because back in those days it would have probably taken weeks, maybe months for the beer to get through. So anyway, moving on away from the history lesson. So anyway, let's get the Antwerpen stout in the glass. 8%. This is the uh, high-end Guinness, the biggest Guinness I've ever drunk. I am a fan of Guinness's beers. Let's get it in here. See what it's all about. Jet black, what you would expect. Nice sort of uh, beige head on it. Can here for the nose, see what the Antwerpen has to offer. Very smoky. Very smoky, <laughs> very smoky, roasted malts, a little sort of uh, campfire coffee in the background, and like a, I want to say like a buttery uh, baker's chocolate, you know that way when you're making something like, you're using chocolate and you put some butter in it, it helps it melt, that's what it smells like. Anyway, it smells absolutely, you can smell the 8% in it, I'll tell you that much. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking it, an Antwerpen, 1944 recipe Antwerpen by St James's Gate by Guinness. Slangy for Where did the alcohol go? Man, that is smooth. That is really smooth. That is really, really creamy. Very smoky. It has got buttery chocolate in it. Nice bit of uh, the Guinness velvet at the back. This is really, really nice stuff. I got this in Asda, I think it was like two quid. Not Asda, Tesco, sorry. Tesco, it was about two pound a bottle. I'm thinking, I'm in the, I'm in the market now for aging beers. Uh, I'm always looking for stouts and stuff to age. I, I'm going to experiment with a bottle of that and leave it for a couple of years. I wonder if anyone from Guinness watches this, which is highly unlikely, would this beer age? I'm thinking it would because uh, eight percent on the Richter scale. That is superb. It's got that lovely campfire coffee, roasty. Roastiness about it. Fantastic stuff. Very, very much like a. I tell you what it tastes like actually. Let's get that one. Old Tom, Robinson's Brewery, Old Tom. Get that Christmas cake feel about it. Let's get that. Let's get that in abundance as well. That must mean that I'm picking up some dark fruits in there. It's, that is really class. A really, really superb beer by Guinness. You've knocked yourself out with this one, the, the Brewery Project. This is one that you would sit, you would not session on this. You would like to right enough, but if you're a big stout drinker, uh, you could maybe do two, three bottles in that because bottles are quite small. 
you can drink that, no problem. I'd recommend drinking this maybe after a meal. When all the brandies and all the malts come out, I would not I would stay clear of them and I would have this. Maybe on your uh, your last uh, half bottle of it, maybe then introduce a nice brandy, nice cognac with it. Uh, would complement it. Fantastic stuff. So anyway, is it one I'll drink again? Yes, it is. Because I'm going to age one. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway, what am I going to give? The 1944 recipe uh, and twerping by Guinness. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Drunk rating of 9 out of 10. So anyway, if you see that in your local Tesco and you like your stout, pick it up. Do yourself a favour. It's a very, very rich Guinness offering from Guinness. If you've had it before, you know the script. Drop a line below, tell me what you thought about it. And if not, you stayed along to the end of the video. Sofa King Drunk salutes you and hopefully catch you in another beer review. Ciao for now. Keep drinking the good beer. Slangy fuck.